Hi folks, Stevie here. So I'm super excited. I've been wanting to ride one of these bikes for years. Today I'm riding the Suzuki Bandit. Suzuki have been using the Bandit name in certain markets since the late 80s. But I distinctly remember the first time I saw the GSF 400 Bandit in 1991. The wraparound tubular frame was reminiscent of the aftermarket frame kits that companies like Spondent and Harris were producing for the 70s and 80s GS and GSX engines. It was one of the first ever factory street fighters, but it was a very rare bike in the UK only ever seen as an unofficial grey import. Suzuki achieved cult status with her GSF 600 and 1200 Bandit models released in 1996. Both bikes were oil cooled, the 600 motor was lifted from the long running GSX 600F and the 1200 used a GSXR 1100 motor bored out to 1197cc. The styling wasn't as aggressive and as focused as the earlier 400, however the naked model followed all the Street Fighter cues of an exposed tubular frame, a large round headlight, a set of chrome clocks and upright wide bars. Both bikes were available with a frame mounted quarter fairing that appealed to the grown ups and with aftermarket luggage they made respectable tourers. They sold like hotcakes, the 600 was popular with new riders as a first big bike and the 1200 with its GSXR lineage attracted the attention of the street fighter scene and drag racing fans. Both bikes got a new frame design for the year 2000 and 2007 saw both bikes gaining 50cc water cooling, fuel injection and ABS. They remained in the Suzuki lineup until 2016. I've been given a loan of this bike by Saltire Motorcycles in Edinburgh. It's a 2009 GSF 1250 so it's a later water cooled fuel injected model. It will produce almost 100 horsepower at roughly 9000 rpm with 107 newton metres of torque at 3,500 rpm, which is said to be enough to pull it along to 140 mile an hour. The drag weight is 225 kilograms, and it's equipped with a sensibly sized 180-55-17 at the rear, and a 120-70-17 at the front. This is one of Salt Tire's courtesy bikes. It's got 78,500 miles on the clock. It's approaching 15 years old, so it's got battle scars here and there, but it's rock solid on the road and it's not making any worrying noises. So what's it like to ride? So the first impressions are that it feels really small, but I'm used to adventure bikes these days. It does make it dead easy to manoeuvre about though. This is still on its standard silencer, so it's super quiet. Very little drama getting going, doesn't need a lot of gas to take off. The controls all fall to hand, everything feels very natural. Clutch, accelerator, brakes, all super smooth, despite its 78,000 miles. The bike's effortless on the twisties. This is the A814 from Gearlock Head to Arica. It's one of my favourite roads. The bike's perfectly balanced. It handles rising crests just like that. Beautifully.
I'm quite a physical rider and I can feel the counter steer as I'm pushing it through the bends. There's loads of feel. It really inspires confidence. The bike's more than adequately braked. You've got two four piston calipers on the front and a single piston caliper on the rear. What you find on roads like this, you tend not to use your brakes. The engine braking is enough just to allow you to coast on and off the throttle. So what's the verdict? I'm glad to see that it lives up to my expectations. It's a super flexible machine and it'll be a useful tool for many different sorts of riders. I reckon it would make a great bike for somebody who's looking for an exit from the sports bike market. The statisticians might flap about the drop in power, but that's more than made up for by the usable torque. A good rider on one of these is going to lose a 200 mile a year sports bike rider, no problem at all. Well, if you've made it this far, thanks very much for sticking with me. I hope you've enjoyed this first attempt of me reviewing bikes that I don't own personally. It's a direction that I'd like to pursue further if I can get access to interesting machines. I must thank David at Salt Tire Motorcycles in Edinburgh for giving me a load of this bike. I've really enjoyed riding it. And thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.